Morning everyone. Um, this is my first vlog. I've never done a vlog before and I'd never sort of thought of myself as being someone that might want to do a vlog. But I've been searching for information on YouTube and various other things and I've actually kind of thought that maybe someone might be interested in my views on biological medication. So let me start by saying that I take this little thing here. I take two of these a month and it's a pre-filled syringe with the biological medication Symponi. It's got a, a proper name, Golimumab. I can never pronounce it properly. Most of them have got strange names like Golimumab or Alimumab or blah, 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 etc, etc. But for the sake of this, I'll call it Symponi. That's what it is, 50 milligrams. I take two injections uh, a month and I inject them into my thigh. Um, and it's relatively painless, pretty easy. Um, press the button, it injects. You might get a bit of bruising. It depends whether the needle goes in straight or whether you sort of wobble it for whatever reason. Last month, my daughter jumped on me just as I was injecting, so I had a massive bruise, which, um, yeah, was lovely. Um, so in terms of sorting my ankle ankylosing spondylitis out, it has done the trick. I'm pain-free. I've got really good movement. I've gone from not being able to do running to running 5K. Um, it's it's a wonder drug. It really is a very, very good drug. In terms of side effects, there are hundreds of side effects listed, as with most drugs. Um, most of the side effects are in terms of bruising at the injection site, redness, the usual sort of stuff, maybe sore throat, all that sort of thing. So, I mean, let's... let's Remember that this is actually lowering part of your immune system. It's fairly targeted. It goes after um, TNF um, and disables them pretty much. But what it has done to me um, is given me a form of psoriasis, which actually, when you read through down all the various complications, is one of them. It wasn't. Um, expressed to me when I had it that it could cause it um, and I possibly still would have taken it anyway because the benefits of not having the back pain far outweigh the skin problems. However what it has given me is palmoplantar pustulosis which is a form of psoriasis which means that you get these horrible little like pustules that form on your hands and feet and they then dry up, go red, and then you get flaky skin. I mean, I'm effectively a gecko. I shed my skin probably at least once a month. In fact, um, you pretty much know where I've been at that time of the month because I seem to leave piles of skin, um, particularly at my desk at work. Um, and for instance, the other day, um, I was sat having dinner around someone's house and I was flaking into a plate, um, which was fine. It doesn't bother me, but it's not particularly nice when someone's eating their soup. However, um, so let me just show you. So my hands at the moment are pretty good. So that's what my hands currently look like on my left hand. And there's my right hand. So this is going through, at the moment we're at the sort of situation where the um, everything has dried up and I'm just sort of shedding skin. I mean, it doesn't hurt, it's a bit red, etc., etc. Um, what has really annoyed me though is that it's sort of gone into my nails a little bit. Um, typical sort of psori form in the nails, but yeah, let's see how that grows out. Uh, feet, well, feet, yeah, they're... they're bit grubby actually I'm not wearing any socks but yeah you get the same sort of situation and the worst thing actually is that when it dries like this you get um, big bits of skin that itch but what I tend to do is I just tend to sort of like shave it on off with one of those like pedi form things that are pretty not you know they're not really designed to do this but they they may make a difference and um, yeah so the, st the story being oh hang on let me show you my other foot that's not lovely as well. Oh, look at that. I feel like I just want to... I mean, if you love picking skin... Oh, oh that one's a keeper. Um, <laughs> it's great. However, um, in terms of, of pain, I don't really get a lot of pain from it. it. It's just purely, for me, the cosmetic aspect of it and the management. So um, when it first started to happen... So let me think. I started taking Symponi in January... Um, 
January 2018. I had an immediate reaction from it and I was very happy. It um, it just sorted my back out 100%. Amazing thing. I mean, I, I think in terms of medication, biologics really are as important as antibiotics in terms of being able to cure um, rheumatic problems. Uh, however, in October, I started getting little marks on my hands and then that sort of progressed into what I have now. Um, initially went to the doctors and they said it was a form of um, eczema, which I didn't think it was, but obviously doctors and GPs are not particularly specific in terms of being able to diagnose skin problems. Um, so I was sent to a dermatologist and she confirmed it was pustulous rhesus. Um, was told to use diprosilic as a um, ointment, which is quite good because it obviously melts your hard skin and reduces inflammation. Um, and if you actually use it as um, under occlusion, which means you um, cling film your hands or your feet, then it, the effect is quite amazing actually. Uh, overnight you'll wake up in the morning and it'll, it'll still be as if you just put it on there, it keeps it off the bed sheets and off anyone else that you share in the bed with. Um, and really does the trick. You can also do this for moisturiser if you've got hard feet. So there's my little tip of the day for any ladies that have cracked heels or anything like that. Just put a load of moisturiser on and wrap your feet overnight and you will wake up with super silky skin. Um, however, my, my skin is slightly more scaly and I do at times resemble a rather shabby snake. Um, but there you go. So to bring you up to date, I've, I see... A dermatologist every sort of three or four months to look at the skin and she said to me that really um, it's important to continue treating the enclosing spondylitis as that's the thing that's going to cause me more problems in terms of outlook. Um, I see her privately, I've got private medical care. The NHS weren't really interested in terms of dermatology um, so I went private with that. I see my rheumatologist every six months and last time we sp I spoke, well, it's quite interesting actually because I had a, a very um, had a fantastic rheumatologist who's retired and his opinion was that it wasn't the symponi causing the problems it was unrelated however when I found out what it was and I did a bit of research for me it, it, it's it's going to happen it, it's a paradoxical effect caused by the symponi I mean you can actually there are some biologics that you get prescribed for psoriasis and actually they cause psoriasis so it's a paradoxical effect um, which is just part of this drug I guess eventually they might understand why it's doing it but at the moment they don't and it's all to do with the the balance of TNF in your um, system however the last update I have is that I am going to change from symponi to Humira however I'm not going to go to Humira I'm going to go to the new um, what's it called, biosimilar version, which is called Imraldi, um, which ironically, as it actually has the letters A-L-D-I, Aldi, Aldi, um, is the cheaper version of Humira. It should be identical and it should do the same thing. However, I've seen quite a few things online where people complain it's not as good as Humira and it actually stings like buggery when you put it in. Um, there's a lady who's been doing some um, vlogs where she's gone from Humira to Imraldi and she says there's a big difference. So it'll be interesting in terms of going from this bad boy to the Humira or Imraldi pen and, and see what it's like. Um, the big difference between um, Imraldi and Symponi is that Symponi is good for enclosing spondylitis, rheumatoid arthritis, Crohn's and cirrhotic arthritis. I think, I don't know how you pronounce it, it's psoriasis and arthritis, all that sort of stuff. Humira, Imraldi, um, does ankylosing spondylitis, various other things, but it also the psoriasis. So it'll be interesting to see whether that it, it will calm the psoriasis down. I don't suspect it will because, in my opinion, the psoriasis has been caused by the, the biological medication. So if you change from one biological to the other, if it's anti-TNF, then the class drug is the same, the mechanism is the same, so therefore the result will be the same. Really? I don't know. We'll find out. Um, so I'm going to... Stop here. Um, I'm due to go to Imraldi at the end of July, beginning of August. And I'll record when I inject my first injection, just to offer some other balance with some of the other vlogs and things that are going on. It might be that I've got a totally different experience, or I might be have the same, but um, until we try, we don't know. Um, so, yeah, I'm keen to, to record how this goes, because... Um, Whilst I believe that anti-TNF medication or biological medication, because there are various different things, um, are really good, 
and it's almost like you read through a menu of your problems and then you select the medication that will solve it. I don't believe they understand enough about what it's doing inside your body um, outside of the targeting areas. So uh, I'm a little bit nervous about taking Imraudi. I don't know what it's going to bring. Um, I know what my hopes are, but yeah, let's see. The internet is full of shit um, in terms of reviews and you only generally see people's bad experiences. So it will be interesting to see how I go with this. So I hope you found what I've got to say a little bit interesting. I hope it provides a little bit of an insight to people that might be going on Symponi or Imraldi or are nervous about biologics. In summary, biologics, I think, are very, very good. They do a very good job if they work. They're not guaranteed to work in everyone. However, in me, they have worked and I'm thankful for the relief I've had from my back pain. To put it clear, I have no pain and maximum movement out of my back. I have the same movement as someone who has not got the condition. That's how good these things are. However, they come with the side effects. Some, some people have no side effects. Some people have massive side effects. Some people have minor side effects. I'd call, I'd call mine a, a relatively mild side effect. It's you know nowhere near as bad as, say, cancer or anything like that. But it's a pain in the arse. Um, but it, it, it's mild. And I'm hoping that um, there's some, I've got some new treatments from a dermatologist and with the Imraldi, we might be able to get it under control. Medical papers I read suggest not, but hey-ho, I'm in it for the long run. So that's all from me now. I've rambled on at the moment for 11 minutes and 39 seconds, and I hope it's been interesting. If not, then don't worry. If you want to see what happens, subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's do this together. Bye.